In this video we're going to solve where we have x on both sides or uh, basically a letter on both sides. So we'll look at this page one in this video, okay? So please write down this first example 5a equals 4a plus 30. 5a equals 4a plus 30. Okay? So it kind of means 5 apples cost the same as 4 apples plus 30 cents. Okay? So obviously one apple would cost 30 cents, right? But it's not so much knowing what the answer is, but but just we're just going to use these problems to practice adding or subtracting letters from both sides. And some students, you know, students often struggle with that and they they don't understand why you can do that. But we we can add or subtract numbers to both sides, but we can also add or subtract letters to both sides as well. So in this case, please write it down 5a equals 4a plus 30. Please write it down. Uh, if you haven't done so, we need to subtract 4a from both sides. Because when we do that, we'll get all the letters on one side and the numbers on the other. Or in this case, we'll get 1a on one side and 30 on the other. But anyway, so when we subtract 4a from both sides, and it's a scales balance, remember that that's what an equation is, right? If you subtract 4a from the right, you must subtract 4a from the left, okay? And we do that because 4a minus 4a gives zero, nothing, okay? So on the right hand side, we'll just have the 30 left over, okay? Because this 4a minus 4a is zero a, no apples, right? Um, you don't have to write that down, zero apples plus 30. You don't have to write that down because four apples take away four apples is obviously nothing. So you, on the right, you can just write down 30, right? But it is zero a plus 30, right? On the left, we have 5a minus 4a. Five apples take away four apples. And these are like terms, see? These are like terms. And that leaves us with one apple, 1a. One so in other words, we have a, one apple is just a. So an apple costs 30 cents, okay? Which we knew that was the answer, but it was just practicing subtracting a letter from both sides. So I want you to practice that here. 10b equals 9b plus 25. 10b equals 9b plus 25. I want you to subtract a letter from both uh, a variable from both sides if that makes sense okay so we want the numbers on one side the letters on the other okay numbers on one side letters on the other so in this case we have a b on both sides okay so we need to subtract uh, something to get the b's on one side numbers on the other now to me it's obvious look if we get rid of the 9b then the 25 is going to be left all by itself okay and that's what we want. Okay, so to get rid of nine bananas, there, what do we do? See, to get rid of nine bananas, you would subtract nine bananas from both sides. Okay, subtract nine bananas, take away nine bananas means no bananas, right? Now, if you subtract nine bananas from the right hand side of the scales balance, you must subtract nine bananas from the left hand side of the scales balance so that the, the balance is, is, is equal on both sides, right? So 10 bananas minus one, 9 bananas is 1 banana, right? And that equals, remember, 9 bananas take away 9 bananas, 0 bananas, nothing. Bananas are all gone, right? Plus 25, so that's nothing plus 25, that's just 25. So 1 banana costs 25 cents. Or you could just write B equals 25, okay? So let's do these two examples. Here we've got some negatives. Negative 7x equals negative 8x minus 1. So write this down. Negative 7x equals negative 8x minus 1. Now we've subtracted letters from both sides. We can also add letters to both sides. So in this case, I'll just show you. If you want to get the to leave the negative 1 by itself, leave the numbers on one side, get letters on the other, then we could in fact add 8x right if I add 8x that'll mean I'll have letters on one side numbers on the other because negative 8x plus 8x gives what negative 8x plus 8x is no x's nothing 0x right so that's 0x or 0 right that's nothing so on, on the right hand side I have 0x minus 1 or just minus 1 because 0x is 0 right zero times anything is zero, right? On the left hand side I have negative 7x plus 8x. That's seven negatives, eight positives. That makes 
one positive, one x. So one x on the left or just x. One x, same thing as x, right? x equals negative one. So write this one down, negative 12y equals negative 13y plus four. Negative 12y equals negative 13y plus four. Um, and to get the y's on one side, to, to leave this 4 by itself, if you want this 4 to stay on the right hand side, how are you going to get rid of negative 13y? That's the question. So write this down and you got to think about this. If I want to leave the 4 here on, on this side, and I want, then I'll need to get rid of the negative 13y. So you got to think, how am I going to get rid of that negative 13y? What's the opposite of negative 13y? It's positive what? Positive 13y. See, negative 13 yo-yos plus 13 yo-yos gives nothing. No yo-yos at all. It cancels it out completely because that's 13 bad guys plus 13 good guys is just zero, right? So on the right-hand side, this is no yo-yos, nothing, plus 4, which is just and that's why we're adding 13y to the right. But if we add 13y to the right, we must also add 13y to the left. Okay. And on the left, we have negative 12 yo-yos plus 13 yo-yos. That is how many? 12 negatives and 13 positives. One yo-yo, right? One positive. One y equals 4 or just y equals 4, right?